upon a time, Princess Toadstool was at Mario's house, relaxing in his garden, when all of a sudden, the sky turned dark, thunder and lightning began to crash, and an all too familiar Koopa Clown car was hovering above. Then, without warning, Bowser swooped down and grabbed the princess, but as she was being carried off, she let out a cry for help. Mario to the rescue once again. One hour later, Bowser's Keep. The evil Koopa King was about to land his Koopa Clown car and have his way with the princess. Unknown to him, Mario was following the whole time and was about to storm the front gate in an attempt to rescue the princess at any cost. So, with one deep breath, Mario charged in the front door and began to avoid the guards any way he could to find Bowser. But unfortunately, at the end of the hall, terrible soldiers ambushed him. Deciding that his jump might not be enough, he decided to go fist flying. To great success, of course. But the terrapins themselves were punching just as good. Mario did his best to try and block and managed to avoid one attack altogether. Mario kept on fighting. Unfortunately, Mario was subject to much punishment, but he didn't give up. But as time went on, Mario persevered and landed the final blow on the gang of Koopas and was free to continue his search. Then he found himself in an all too familiar setting, bridges above lava. But this time, not of his own doing, the bridge collapsed, preventing Mario's escape. Not thinking much of it, he continued his search. In the next room, however, the final battle would commence. High above him, Princess Toastal was tied to the ceiling, and Bowser was waiting, ready to deal the final blow and do away with his arch nemesis for good. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario! Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! Remembering battles of old, Mario figured if he did enough damage to the chain, he could send Bowser crashing to the floor. But Bowser was not about to go quietly into the good night. Despite Bowser's strength, Mario kept on attacking the chain until finally, it gave out. What was that sound? No! It's a chain reaction! Hang on, King Link! No! Although Bowser was defeated, he was not allowed to let Mario escape either. Coming, Mario! With one whip of a hammer, he hit the chain, and Mario Chandler was about to give out as well. Fight, Mario! Fight! This should finish you! And with a second hammer, Mario Chandler began to fall from the ground as well. It seemed our plumber's end was at hand. And in Bowser's mind, if he was going down, he was going to take Mario with him. <laughs> Did you think I was just going to give her to you? You're always in my way! This is it! I'm gonna take you out, Mario! But a good plumber always has a few tricks up his sleeve. Ah! Foiled again! Bowser continued to fall, and our hero shot skyward, eventually grabbing onto the chain, and was free to rescue Toastal at any time. Oh, Mario! You had me so worried! Let's get out of here! But just before Mario could free the princess, I'm gonna fall! High above the castle, a catastrophic explosion shook the surrounding land. And soon, a giant sword surrounded by seven stars began to descend from the heavens, ultimately crashing in Bowser's Keep. And so begins an adventure like no other. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. <laughs>